Like Laurel, Mississippi of the 90s, Cochrane, Georgia's downtown is mostly vacant. Last year in Cochrane, a group of friends, much like Ben, Aaron, and their friends, started making plans to breathe new life into the city. Shortly thereafter, with a little help from Georgia Power and the local government, the Cochrane Downtown Development Authority was born. I've been living in Cochrane for five years, and the things that stand out to me in this community are the people. The people of our community genuinely care about one another. When there's a need within the community, it gets filled. A recent example of this is Miss Allie Itson. My name is Diana Itson. And I'm Allie. And we're from Cochrane, Georgia. About a month ago, Allie was diagnosed with Moya Moya disease. It's a rare vascular disorder that causes her carotid arteries to harden and close. We recently spent 10 days in Atlanta at Scottish Rite Children's Hospital where Allie had two brain surgeries to restore blood flow to her brain. While we were there, the support that has come from the city of Cochrane has been tremendous. We got home two days ago. Um, since we've been here, we've entered out once. And the, the amount of support is still overwhelming, how much Cochran loves Allie. Another standout is the education system. The students in this community excel because of the dedicated teachers putting in long hours and giving of themselves wholly for the success of their students. Teachers that arrive early and stay late as often as they're needed. Jordan Schrantz is a perfect example of the commitment of our teachers and community support. My name is Jordan Schrantz. I'm 19 years old and a student at Middle Georgia State University. Growing up, I had a sometimes abusive and eventually absent father. Once my mother turned to drugs, I found myself alone and without support. It was my community who lifted me up, sheltered me, and helped me succeed. Had it not been for my community in Cochrane, I would likely have followed my mother's lead. Lastly, there is Ms. Emmy Meadows. Okay, all right, so um, I think affectionately of Cochrane as our own little piece of God's country. Um, this piece of ground is important to me. All the people that I know and love either live here or they originate from here. Um, I, I moved away in college, but whenever I came back, it was a decision that I was going to stay here for quite some time. I work, I play, and I really, I do everything else in this small town. I often wonder why small cities like ours succeed. On the exterior, Carbon looks hopeless, its future bleak. A large percentage of the community lives in poverty. There isn't much to do on the weekends. We have access to few amenities. We have really spotty Wi-Fi. In the world of information growth and technology, it's strange that small towns like Cochrane can survive. The foundation for our longevity is one baseline belief. We understand that we can either work together or starve apart. I'm grateful for the generosity of my town. In Cochrane, many barely make ends meet or simply do without. However, when one of our own has needs that he or she can't feel, the community steps in. Children get jackets, people get fed, food is collected, money donated. People will scrape the bottom of their barrels to make sure another doesn't run dry. I'm grateful for the understanding of this community, realizing when one of us succeeds, we all do. There are dreams in this town, and those dreams are worth supporting. We celebrate those who gave it themselves in the pursuit of freedom and American values. We notice when others are missing from our lives. We credit our farmers' contributions to the growth of communities everywhere, and we mourn with them when storms hit, decimating crops. We work, we suggest. At times, we complain, we encourage, and we love. Cochrane, Georgia for us is hay rides and how's your mom and them, neighborhoods and niceties, country fest and Christmas parades, sitting by a fall bonfire and striking out in the summer softball league, calling folks aunt and uncle knowing good and well there's no blood relation between you two. It's a place of sunrises and sunsets, farmers markets and faith, triumphs and tears. Cochran was built on holding hands and hanging in there and it's the place I ache for when I'm not here. While the city of Cochrane has a great wealth of love and support in the community, there are some things that it's missing. Affordable college housing is one of them. 
Middle Georgia State University shares 136 years of Cochrane's 151-year history. Its students, who don't live in the dorms, often join together and rent single-family homes in the city. This creates a shortage of available housing for families. Our downtown has many empty spaces that would serve wonderfully as loft apartments. Another need in our community are gathering spaces that aren't restaurants or churches. A social gathering place, such as a music venue, would also fit wonderfully into one of the empty buildings downtown. And for the children of our community, there's a shortage of public parks. Outside of the elementary school, children have very few places to gather and play. Cochrane, Georgia would be the perfect place for Ben, Aaron, and the hometown takeover team to come and work their magic.